When a suspicious suitcase was flagged by a security dog at the airport, officials promptly decided to inspect it. However, the contents revealed upon opening it left them completely shocked. The airport in question is Manila Airport, also known as Ninoy Aquino International Airport, which originally began operating in 1948 as a modest and inconspicuous facility. However, over the years it has grown into a massive and expansive hub. This growth can be attributed to the fact that the airport handles approximately 2.5 million passengers annually in its international wing and another 5 million in its domestic wing. Consequently, a significant number of individuals pass through its various terminals and concourses. Given the constant presence of potential crimes or illegal activities, all passengers and their belongings must undergo rigorous scrutiny and round-the-clock supervision. Working as a security officer in an airport certainly has its share of highs and lows, pun unintended. There can be prolonged periods where nothing particularly interesting or exciting occurs. It becomes a routine of observing the continuous flow of people embarking on vacations and returning once again. Their luggage typically contains the usual mundane and essential items one carries while traveling, lacking any element of excitement. Maney, a seasoned security officer with over 30 years of experience, had witnessed it all. He understood the regular lulls when nothing eventful occurred, and in a way, he appreciated those moments as they signified a lack of danger or mishaps. However, there were times when the quietude was disrupted. During his tenure, Manny had encountered a diverse range of situations. He had come across individuals attempting to smuggle drugs into or out of the country. Similarly, he had discovered large sums of illicit cash being covertly transferred between places. Manny had successfully foiled plots, apprehended fleeing suspects, and even engaged in physical altercations with uncooperative and aggressive passengers. Undeniably, Manny's job carried inherent risks, but he cherished it nonetheless. He knew that he was making a significant impact ensuring the safety of Manilet Airport, and by extension, airports worldwide. However, a single individual or even an entire team couldn't effectively oversee the multitude of passengers and their luggage flowing through the airport each day. To address this challenge, highly trained dogs were employed. These canines were adept at detecting drugs and other illegal substances guiding their handlers to the individuals or luggage associated with such items. Subsequently, individuals would undergo thorough searches, while luggage would be meticulously inspected. They identified a person or item of luggage in a very clear and direct way. The usually active and excitable dogs would freeze and then certain and point their noses at the person or luggage in question. This would then alert the handlers as to exactly who the dog had suspected. It was a simple method, but it worked flawlessly. While there had been only one or two false calls over the years, the sniffer dogs would more often than not correctly identify illegal substances or banned items. They were an essential part of the security team, and Manny would not have been able to run an effective and useful security force without them. But one day something happened that no one expected, not even the dogs themselves. In fact, when Manny and his colleagues opened up a case, they were shocked by what they saw. The day started as any other day. Manny arrived at work early around 4 o'clock a.m. He made himself a coffee in the office and chatted with a few of his friends and colleagues. He always found it good to stay on good terms with everyone that he worked with. After draining his piping hot caffeinated beverage, Manny headed over to the kennels where he retrieved several sniffer dogs. He spent 10 minutes or so playing fetch with them and giving them a fuss. They might have been highly trained animals that had a job to do, but they were still dogs at the end of the day that loved attention. He then walked three of the dogs back to his colleagues and handed two over to them. Monty kept the third, a well-trained dog who almost never made any mistakes. Looking at the clock, he realized it was time for the security team to get out there and do a sweep of the airport, checking everything was ship shape and safe. So off they said Manny and his dog took the left-hand side of the concourse while his two colleagues and their dogs took the middle and right-hand side. As they walked, the dogs sniffed at the passing passengers. Manny would smile and wave at people and even stopped every so often to let her curious child stroke the dog for a moment. It wasn't strictly allowed. But Manny knew that if you wanted to do a good job, you have to keep the public on your side. And besides, the dogs always loved attention. 
All of a sudden, though, Monty's dog started to pull on the lead. It wasn't often that he did such a thing, and Manny knew that when that happened, he should just let go and see where the dog runs to. So that's exactly what he did, swerving through the people hurrying to catch their flights or check-in. The dog stopped at a huge unattended case. That's when he began to bark. An unusual sign, Manny caught up only several seconds after and studied the luggage as the dog continuously barked and yelped. It was as if they were trying to tell Manny something that they had not trained for. The dog sat and pointed with his nose, but continued to bark. On and on it went, echoing around the airport. The other dogs soon approached, and they too started acting in a strange and unusual way, as if they could also sense there was something highly unusual in the luggage. Manny immediately realized that the case was unattended and made sure that no one came near it. It could be a bomb. Airports were prime targets for terrorists who wanted to hurt people, so it wouldn't have totally shocked Manny, but something told him that it wasn't explosives in there. The dog was acting far too strangely for that. His continuous loud barking told Manny that there was something within the supersized case that he needed to see. So he and his colleagues wheeled the luggage to an office and lifted it onto the table. It certainly weighed a lot, but now was the moment of truth. They were all about to see what it was that was in there. As the security dog incessantly barked, Manny grew curious about the cause. Opening the case, he took a step back in astonishment. His gaze swept over its contents before swiftly closing it again. He turned to a colleague and urgently requested contacting the local animal shelter. Within the case resided a remarkable assortment, a thousand rare turtles, 43 iguanas, a gecko, and even a python valued at an estimated $150 thousand. This was entirely unfamiliar territory for Manny and his security team. Within an hour, the animal shelter team arrived, meticulously documenting the many creatures inside the case. Unfortunately, some of them had perished. Thankfully, Manny had emerged unscathed, requiring only a bit of care and attention. It was nothing short of a miracle that the python, iguanas, and geckos had survived. The security team scarred the airport in search of the case's owner, but they found no trace of the individual. Reviewing the security footage, they identified the man who had brought the colossal case into the airport. It seemed that upon spotting the security team and the sniffer dogs inspecting passengers, the man became alarmed and hastily fled, abandoning the massive case. Moments later, the security footage captured the dog approaching the case and continuously barking. Fortunately, most of the animals had a positive outcome to their story. They were taken to the shelter, where they received nurturing care to restore their health. Subsequently, they would be transferred to a sanctuary capable of providing ongoing care and enabling them to thrive. One can only imagine the unfavorable fate they would have faced had their interception not occurred. As for Manny, it was unquestionably a memorable day at work that would forever stay with him. Now it's your turn. What are your thoughts on this remarkable story? We would love to hear your comments, so please share them in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Help us grow by sharing and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for your support.